are to today we're talking about how to get the fox sound rank and snake eater and i'm gonna give you a guide all right so for the requirements you got to be on extreme or higher you got to have five or less hours zero continues zero kills zero alerts no life medications uh less than thir- t- 10 life 10 less than 10 life bar damage 25 or less saves and no special items uh um so there's like controls i'm just gonna say like punch button and action button because it's cross platform the cqc slam is pretty nice what you do by holding punch while still holding a direction so that you just throw them immediately instead of grabbing them um you're gonna want to skip all the cutscenes to cut down on the time uh so let's get into it so this is the first screen with enemies and um i'm gonna change the camouflage to woodland and uh the leaf for better camo and then there's two guys here to shoot and then you can just walk to the next screen just make sure you're using the mark 22 And then on Dolanovodno, we just shoot this beehive and wait a few seconds for the guys to clear out. And you just follow them. Alright, so now that we're in Rosvet, we gotta shoot these guys. There's like four of them right away. So you shoot that guy next to the tree, and then the guy on the balcony a couple times. And then there's another guy in this corner here. They're kind of hard to see from here, which is a problem for you. Yeah, there's a guy here, too. He'll turn around eventually, so you should knock him out. I sometimes miss this guy that stands, like, in the building, because he blends in pretty well. And then he just finds me, and I die. But that'll be everyone, so you can just go trigger the cutscene now. I'm gonna skip to the section where the boss takes your gun. In Operation Snake Eater. So we're gonna want to go south and then come back to reset the caution that happens after the cutscene. And while we're here we're gonna change to the woodland and the uh, flectarn for better camo since we don't have weapons. And then save. I'm pretty sure their patterns are exactly the same as they were in the Virtuous mission, but you just don't have a gun. So you, you just take it slow and crawl around, hide behind trees. Yeah, I sit here and wait for this guy to stop looking this way so I can go throw him because it's funny. (laughs) 
whenever you're sneaking up on someone, make sure to use the D-pad or whatever it is on PC to make you walk and not make noise. The bridge is a little trickier this time because you can't just shoot the nest unless you're on New Game Plus. Here I just wait for the guy to start crossing the bridge because there's two of them. Once the other guy turns around I'm gonna drop down and then throw him. Yeah, except I held it too long and choked him. Whatever. Choking them out actually, I think, keeps them knocked out longer than the like uh, slam that you do immediately. We're just gonna sneak up on this guy. If if you don't go fast, he'll never know. There is another guy at the other end of the bridge, so just make sure he doesn't see you. Yeah, I crawl for the last bit to make my camo better. And then I check to see where on his patrol he is. Now we need to take out the Ocelot unit. Um, first I save. Gonna make some equipment changes. Oh, I already changed the camo. The Desert Tiger gives you good camo behind the shed and it preserves your suppressors. You get your Mark 22 again after at, at this cutscene before the Ocelot fight, so you can just shoot the guys with it. They never wake up. Make sure you hit the guy on the roof. Crawl back under the house. We're, we're gonna wait at this corner over here for the four guys that move around and we're just gonna shoot their ankles. Now we're going back out the, the back exit. Pay attention to your camo because the desert tiger is going to stop being good a little past here. You'll want something grassy or, or leafy or whatever. Like the DPM. There's a guy at that corner. The last guy's in an awkward spot because the camo gets all weird around this area sometimes. That is it. Now we're at Bolshaya Pass South. You want to use the night, not the night vision goggles, the, what are they called? The thermals, yeah, that kill the dogs because it's funny. No, really, they'll bark and alert. Make sure you make three different sounds so this guy comes up faster and then knock him out.
go over the fence. And in this part, you'll want to climb up here. There's a useful camo past here. Just make sure you stay low so they don't see you. The splitter's very good later. Just make sure you don't miss anyone, because it's not fun if you do. There's also a dog behind this fence. Now we get to the second screen here. Just put on the desert tiger and crawl along. Or run for some sections, because there's gaps. After this screen is Ocelot, so put on your Oz cam uh, for increase, increased defense. You're allowed to go lethal on him, so I just use the other gun with the suppressor, because that's the only lethal gun I have. But it's semi-automatic, unlike the Mark 22. The auto-aim is your best friend here. It'll just keep tracking him. You can just spam him, pretty much. I'm going to cut away after I hit him once because there's really not much else to the fight. When you get to the caves, put on the DPM to increase your healing speed. Once you get to the second screen of the cave, go to the right. Or eat some food first, whatever. Forgot I did that. There's a shotgun. That's really useful for this fight, and that's about it. Before going into the fight, Put on the brown face paint so you can swim as long as you want, and then put the Ost cam back on for increased defense. Make sure you have the M37 equipped in the Mark 22. I immediately go to the other island. This island will have Mark 22 ammo and M7 ammo, or M37, I forgot the number. His head hitbox is awful, so just aim a little low. He also has like 20 million health for some reason. Whenever he has bees on him, you can use the shotgun to make them go away. It takes four hits. But when he puts a grenade up, just shoot that, and it'll blow up the bees by itself. Second phase. He'll immediately shoot bullet bees. These things will take out like half your health. So just go underwater. Snake has invincibility when climbing up a cliff, so you can use that to avoid bombs. Just keep breaking his armor with the M37 and then tranking him. It's as shrimple as that. Yeah, once you get to this river here, we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, if you didn't get the water camo, which I didn't, 
you just have to trank all these guys. They blow up, but that doesn't count as kills because you tranked them. It's really awkward, though. It took me several tries. Once you get to the warehouse, make sure you have splitter face paint and camo equipped. There are four guys here, two that run around on the basement floor, one at the middle balcony and one at the top. The one at the top can be hard to hit and he has big vision since he's high up. Once you've cleared them all out, make sure you get this suppressor by dropping off the balcony. You'll need it. At the lab, once you're inside the walls, get caught as a scientist so that you don't have to walk past them. Alternative, you can just sneak into the lab like a normal person. As long as you're in a scientist and no face paint, the soldiers won't care, just as long as you don't bump into them or whatever. The scientists will care, though. Just avoid them. Make sure you go into this little office for the cigarette gas spray. It's your only weapon as a scientist. It's a trank. The soldiers will get mad if they see a crawling box and you'll alert, but the scientists actually don't care. It's really funny. He just watched me knock him out and didn't care. Be careful exiting this first room. Because, like, if they're both looking at you, you can't be a box and you can't be default. Once you're out of the building, you need to change your camouflage. The splitter for this immediate area because you're still on, like, cement. So shoot this guy. Uh, there's another guy that'll look at him and it's a little awkward. Make sure you equip your suppressors whenever they break. Go back to a woodland style again. Make sure you go to this shed in the corner. It has a it has an automatic gun that you'll need for the upcoming fight. If you're on New Game Plus, you don't need it because the Patriots better.
the people are far enough away that you can just run along to this exit. Before going into the fear boss fight. Uh, why am I changing my equipment? Oh yes, put on the OS cam because it's a boss fight. Equip your automatic weapon and a stun grenade, as well as a fake death pill. Use the fake death pill. Wait for him to walk up to you. As soon as he turns around, use the revival pill. Toss a stun grenade in front of him. Make sure Snake is looking away so you can avoid it. And then go ham with the automatic. You'll have to tactical reload if it's not the Patriot. And use the um, auto aim to keep it on him. This room is a little awkward on the second time because you're from the top floor. So I knock to get this guy up here and then I hide. They ignore getting hit by tranks when they're trying to investigate something, so they just get knocked out after that. You can loot the guys in here for Mark 22 ammo if you want. There's still two guys on the ground floor, and there's one that walks around at the other exit. We heard him going to investigate it, so we need to shoot him. There's still one more guy on the ground floor. Make sure you grab this suppressor again. They're really stingy with it in the first half of the game. Also, blow up this food shed so that they complain about being hungry. Okay, so now we're at Sviach West. And we're. We can sneak through it. Woohoo. Um. Yeah, you just like waddle to the left. Uh, don't slide to the right though. You're gonna have to keep changing your camo probably because the terrain's awkward here. Crawling is always your best friend. Don't fall in this little trap here, you'll just... Uh, I just died. You'll die if you go in that trap. Uh, shoot this ugly dude. Walk through where he was. There'll be a guy over here eventually. There he is. Crawl through this place that should be a screen transition over here. There's a guy that wanders between the sections of this screen, so just watch for him here. I almost crawl right into him because I'm dumb. changed my camo here because I wasn't high enough. You have to be high to play this game. There's another g 
guy just like shoot him or something. I like shooting people. Did my mic just pick up my shoulder cracking? Anyway, shoot this dude. Yeah, well, I, I let him call HQ, so they're going to be mad. But I made it to the screen transition before they got there. Now we're at the end. So for the end, I just follow him around. Instead of, like, trying to snipe him without having a sniper rifle, especially a non-lethal one. He always starts at the same cliff on the northern screen. So we're going to waddle around there. Yeah, like 15 years later, I'll get to him. Oh yeah, and I went the wrong way because I'm stupid. The box makes your speed not change when you go up hills. So now we're back around behind him. Make sure you do the slow walk so he doesn't hear you. First time you get behind him, you're going to want to hold him up and point the gun at his head for a while until he throws out the moss camo, which is pretty useful for this fight and some other sections. Then you can shoot him three times. Now, it's not super difficult to just follow him around after you hit him, but my ammo's low, so I lose him after a little bit. There's a shed on the southern screen that gives you ammo. You can track his footsteps with the thermals as well. So here I lay him down to make him still and then I shoot him in the head again. Yeah, I cut to the end because I messed it up really bad, and it took me like 30 minutes. Make sure you grab the Mosin Nagant. And so now we're on the ladder. My strategy here is to equip the Moss Camo, and then to hold up on the D-pad after starting to climb it. Usually works.
we got some equipment changing to do now that we're done with the ladder. So put on your desert fox and just whatever face paint, it doesn't really matter. The area, it likes desert and you'll save your suppressors. Snake's walk cycle is so stanky in this game. Shoot the guy on the ledge here. He has the biggest vision. From here on, on this screen, it's just a bunch of guys in weird dunes. They can be awkward because you can't really see them, so just go slow and shoot all of them. Here, the game decided that I'm not allowed to go into this little crawl space for some reason. I've never had trouble with it before. Alright, this screen's a little funny. Just shoot the guy at the cliff there. Shoot the guy at the lower cliff over here. <laughs> I don't think the helicopter can actually see you until you get an alert, at which point you have to reset anyway. So just don't worry about that. This guy's in a funny place, but for some reason they can't see you when you raise onto your toes. You can shoot this guy, but he's in a weird spot, so I like to wait for him to turn around and then sneak up on him. This section should have three guys, one at the ground level or wandering around it in the stairs. There he is. There's one at the end of the screen, like right at the edge of it. There's also another guy next to these houses. We're going to knock out the guy at the edge of the screen, but we're not going to go through the screen transition yet. I move his body because I'm about to blow up the shed and I don't want him to get hit by it and add to my kill counter. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I suddenly died of a stroke here and didn't cut it out, so have fun with that. Gotta get out the TNT for this. This shed in the corner has food, so blow it up. You will get a caution. This screen is a little awkward because of all the crevices they walk around in. There's always a guy above this one and in it. Just like, follow what I'm doing, you'll be fine because I'm smarter than you. So don't worry about it. It's always good to shoot the guys on the cliffs in advance because they have the big, tall vision. Watch out for the guy who wanders here in this crevice. I got him because I'm, I'm really good at the game. Now the caution went away because I got everyone, so I can just walk straight to the goal now. Make sure to get your noodles and the ammo that's under this bed, because ammo is cool. waddle along and stop here because there's a guy that walks up to there just wait like 15 seconds and then shoot him from here i like to drop onto this little ledge and i wait for this other guy to come over because we need to drop down right below this. Now I'm going to put on the spider uniform so I can have consistently good camo for a couple seconds. While I just hop down to this door. For the fury fight, you're going to want to put on the os cam for defense. You'll want to get out the Mosin Nagant, and you already have the Mark 22 out. The thermals are good at the beginning of the fight, and then when there's a lot of fire, the night vision goggles get better instead. Immediately, he'll wander around at the opposite end of where I'm going, so just find which hallway he's in, and you can hit him with the Mosinagon a few times, but unfortunately I missed after the first shot. The auto aim is your best friend in this fight because you can you can keep moving a little bit while shooting at him, which is good because if he hits you, he's just gonna hit you until you die, because his flames are massive. Yeah, whenever he's near you, you can punch, punch, kick to knock him over, 
so you can get away. The auto aim will even aim up at him while he's flying, so that's really good because normally you would have a hard time trying to hit him up there while he's moving around. Using the cardboard box will immediately put out any flames on snakes so he doesn't take extra damage. can see the auto aim is even tracking through a wall, so I got him here. Put on your splitter camos for Grozny Grad, because it's really the only one that works other than Spider, which makes your stamina go bye-bye. Climb these boxes and go to the right around these big containers, because there's a patrol immediately here. Wait for him to go past, and then you can walk behind him. You can also shoot this guy from across there while you're waiting. There's a guy just around this corner, so check before you go. Once he turns around, I just sneak up on him and throw him. Then we can proceed to the next room. Go to your right. There will be a guy around this corner as well. So watch out for that. But he's already facing away, so just shoot him. Then shoot the guy that you see here. There will be a couple more guys walking around these trucks. We just need to get to that door there. Here's the second guy. Put on the scientist disguise and remove your face paint before going on to the next screen. Also get your cigarette gas spray. I'm struggling with this menuing here. Go up the stairs here and wait for Rykov to be nearby so that you can knock and bait him up away from everyone else. Get him to say what three times so that he runs instead of walking. Make sure he doesn't see you before he goes to the wall. Then you can just go knock him out and then drag him.
Once I have Rykov's fit, I go blow up the food shed to make the escape easier later. Because Rykov can basically do whatever he wants here. You just beat up your soldiers. The Rykov outfit makes it so you can't use the TNT, so you have to knock out a couple guys over here. So they don't see you. Once both of these guys are knocked out, take off the fit and blow up the shed. Then put the fit back on and go to your objective. After the torture scene, make sure to pick up the fork and remove both of the things from your body. While Johnny's looking at you, eat the death pill. He'll open up the cell. Then once he's facing away, you can take the revival pill and just walk past him. He gets all scared here and then he just walks away casually like nothing happened. This next screen is a little awkward. Wait behind this cover until this guy starts walking away, and then run, roll, and lay here. Wait a little bit until this guy also starts moving, and then you can just walk into this crevice and crawl through for the next screen. On this one, you just run along the wall and you'll be fine. They'll get a glimpse of you, but no alert. This third screen is also a little awkward. Get him to see you so that he'll walk over there. Then go back around. You're gonna walk all the way around the tanks. Get that guy to see you as well. Make sure you don't go close enough to, to this dog to wake it up. Stay behind this truck as necessary since there's a guy. He's walking away though. Then there's just one guy left and a dog. You can just roll on the guy and since he's hungry he'll get knocked out immediately. Make sure you don't step on the dog. And now you're through. I won't go over the tunnels because they're pretty straightforward. Once you get to the sorrow, you can either kill yourself really quick and take the revival pill, or you can go to the end of the river. Going to the end of the river is also a way to check if you have kills, because only the boss characters will show up. And they show up regardless of if you went non-lethal.
after all the Eva cutscenes, make sure to grab this cardboard box over here before going up the ladder. It'll help you get back into the hangar without having to actually go there. With your splitter uniform on, um, you can shoot this guy and then waddle the long way around the tanks. For some reason I thought you could climb those because I'm dumb. I've only played the game like 90 times. You'd think I'd know that by now. Stay close to the walls so they don't see you. Or, well, they still get a peek at you and you just shoot them. Up in the back of this truck and put on cardboard box B. It'll trigger a cutscene. Go up the stairs and through the door so we can get back to the lockers. The one you put Rykov in has the sneaking suit, which is the best defense suit in the game. I always forget which locker it is, but if you check around long enough, you'll find the maintenance uniform, which is useful here. Equip the maintenance and take off your face paint. This is a reskin of the scientist stuff, so you can use the SIG spray and the C3, and that's about it. Don't let the actual maintenance guys see you, just knock them out. careful with these last ones there's a guy that wanders between them just watch for him put on the sneaking suit for defense and put on the Rykov mask it'll it'll trigger Vulcan into being an idiot and give you some free shots you're allowed to go lethal in this fight because he doesn't die but I go non-lethal so that I can get his useful camo. Hit him with the Mosin Nagant for the free hits. He'll get mad after that, usually. Side note, this is a really interesting hitbox. I put a slow motion here just because I think it's funny. He'll just stand around electric for a while. You can't see you see him when he's electric. When you're near him, he'll usually try to punch you, and after a few whiffs, you can go behind him and throw him. Whenever he shoots lightning, unequip your gun and keep running to the side. After you throw him, you can shoot him three times. Or four, apparently. Immediately at the start of phase two, he always does this attack, which you just... You just crawl under. For me, he did it like 19,000 times. Or just twice. Okay, I was remembering a different time I did it. When he reaches his hand up like this, he's going to rapid fire bullets. So just get far away and keep moving to the side. Whenever he's recharging, you get a free headshot. Ooh, 
later in the fight he'll start shooting two or three lightnings at a time and honestly i don't have good advice to avoid it it's like a harder version of the one lightning With this electric floor attack, you just have to watch the pattern and roll over it. It's the only way to avoid it. We're about to see another interesting kick hitbox. Make sure you grab the camo. You want to put on the camo you just got from him. It's the Cold War camo. Because on the bike section, the guys see you and they shoot at you. But they won't shoot at you when you're facing towards them while wearing it. So it really breaks the bike sections. During the bike section, you'll just want to take off your suppressor and shoot as many guns as you can with the Mark 22. They go down in one hit. Just make sure you don't hit them for lethal. And keep facing towards them, they can't shoot you. Once you get to this section of it, you'll want to spam chaff grenades and wait for Vulcan to kill his own guys. They won't come back this time. Then you can just spam the RPG at the tank to do a small amount of damage to it. I'm going ahead and equipping the sneaking suit because we're about to have a fight. On the C3 sniping section, shoot the first three and then get the crosshairs on the fourth one and just wait until Eva says that he's on the bridge to shoot it. It's pretty simple. Only 
during the first section of the tank fight. You just want to chuck Chaff so he can't use the homing missiles. And then you can stun lock him by shooting the treads. And if Eva's AI cooperates with you, you'll get behind the tank and you can shoot the back of it with the RPG for the actual damage. That's pretty much the entire phase. The second section has you separate from Eva and you have to shoot Volgan himself. Get out the Mosin Nagant. You have to initially get his attention by hitting him, and then after that it's easy to keep him in a loop. So just like shoot the tires and then and then shoot Volgan, and then he'll he'll hopefully start going after you. It might take two attempts at hitting him. While he's targeting you, go near the treads to make him try to run you over. You can avoid it by just going a little to the side, and then you get a free headshot. Now we have more bike shooting sections. It's pretty much the same as it was before. Use the Cold War camo and shoot the guys with the Mark 22. Simple as that. After the bike section, we just have a few screens of escorting Eva. Once you've healed up, change uh, to better camo. You want to put on the DPM to accelerate your healing. Before you go trigger the next cutscene, just collect some food. There's snakes around here you can kill. After the cutscene, walk a little bit and then call Eva with the action button so she'll follow you. Keep going, but don't get too far away from her or else she'll stop. The guards won't see Snake or Eva as long as you keep her moving until you get to the screen transition. This is the second last screen of the game. Put on your thermal so you can see the guys. Don't worry about being too slow. They never wake up on this screen. So once you take them out, they're done. Once you've cleared out these few guys on this segment, you can bring Eva a little closer to the skinny part of the screen so that you don't have to later. Here I changed to Flectarn so my batteries wouldn't deplete, but I changed again a little later.
one of the guys will wander around through this section if you if you missed him earlier and he walked away. Here I changed to the moss instead of flectarn. It doesn't really matter though. They're both good in this section. Leave Eva there so she doesn't get seen while you're taking out this segment of guys. Some of them are pretty well hidden on this screen, so just use your thermals again. When you think you've taken them all out, get to a place where they definitely won't see you, and then shoot unsuppressed. If nobody says anything, then you know they're all gone and you can just take Eva through the area. Here I'm about to shoot to check that everyone's gone because the caution never goes away. Now that the area is clear, I'm going to loot some bodies and then I'll take Eva to the cutscene. Once you get to the boss, equip your sneaking suit and save and everything. She will immediately start the fight with CQC. When Snake grunts, that's your cue to hit the punch button to counter it. And then from there you can hit her. There's two main ways to do this fight. You can shoot her from far away, or you can keep using CQC and stay close to her so she doesn't shoot you. Once you've countered her CQC, you can you can slam her on the ground, but you cannot get her in a chokehold. Once she's hit the ground, you can get two hits. Then you'll want to hide from her bullets. Once she's done shooting, you can just go right back up to her, and she'll go for CQC again if you're close enough. When she runs in for CQC, make sure you're facing her, because if you're not, you can't counter it, and you'll just get hit. As seen coming up, she will sometimes mix up her timing for the CQC, so just watch for that and don't press it preemptively, because if you do, you'll be locked out of it. I whiffed the counter here, so I, I get hit like an idiot. Whenever she does this, just hide like behind a tree as usual because she'll shoot at you. I just missed a kick on a snake. My suppressor broke here and I equipped another one, but it really doesn't matter for the fight. I finish her off with a roll because it's funny, and that is it.
and here's my results. It took me just over three hours, which is plenty of time to spare. Just make sure you don't take forever.